everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your dumbbell full body blast workout. So in this workout, we're gonna work every part of your body, both strengthening and sculpting those muscles, as well as getting cardio in using just a set of dumbbells. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you options for different levels to take it up or take it down. And as always, work to your own fitness level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a little warm up. So just make sure your dumbbells are out of the way where you're not gonna step on them. Just kind of march and roll through those shoulders and then take them to the front. And then a couple big deep breaths in and out and in and out. Let's take those arms wide and we'll roll through our back. So flat back down, round it up. Couple more just like that. And one more. And then let's tap and reach. So you're rotating, reaching across the body, rotate with the knees and the hips. So we're also turning in the torso and then let's stretch it overhead. As always, if you need more of a warm up, get it on your own. We're gonna keep it kind of simple, just getting things moving. Hamstring curls, bring them up to the back. And then let's bring those knees up, opening up the hips and hip flexors. And then let's do those little kicks, straight leg reach. You don't have to actually touch it, but just reach for it. So we're stretching out through the hamstring, through the arms. And then a couple little rolls through the hips. Start out and then let's roll them in. Should feel nice and loose and ready to go. Okay, so go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Bend your knees together and make sure you're not bending from the back. So a lot of what we're gonna do today, we're gonna start with one move, then we're gonna add on to make it a compound move. So you always have the option just to do one of the moves, either one is fine. And again, work to your own fitness level. If you need a break, take a break. You can always hit pause and come back to it. All right, so we're gonna start with a side lunge to the side. So with the side lunge, you're stepping out super low into that hip, and then your straight leg on the other side, push it up. What we're gonna add to that is we're gonna add halfway through just a row at the bottom. So you're staying low in that row, squeezing in the shoulder blades. All right, so march it out. We're starting in three, two, side lunge to the side. So just start here and push off. So you're sitting low, push out of that heel. <sighs> Breathing. Get that chest down, but make sure that you're not dropping in the back. So you're not here, rounding in the back. You wanna keep that chest and back straight and drop it here. Good job. Sit and back. Here we go. So you are just like this, and then we're gonna add that row at the bottom. So again, you're sitting low into that lunge and rowing from the lunge. So there. You're already in the lunge when you do the row. Five seconds and then we'll add it in. And here we go on this next one. So sit low in your lunge, row, and push off. Sit low, row, and push off. So you can tell with these compound movements, your heart rate's gonna get up. Lots of things are working. And because we're putting two moves together, our abs are working hard to stabilize. So make sure you're not compromising form. We're not going too fast. We're getting everything in. That's why we're making the row a separate movement at the bottom of the lunge. Got about 10 seconds. Looking great, guys. Here we go. And breathe. And we'll get one more after this, and then we're gonna go right into that lunge on that other side. I know that heart is pumping. Here we go, just the lunge to the side. Push up, catch your breath, down, push up, breathe, sit low. And again, heart rate should be up. So if you need a break, take a break. But if you can, just focus on form. Doesn't matter if you're going the same speed as me or anybody else. Just make sure you're getting the moves in and you're breathing and you're staying hydrated. Almost time to add the row. Breathe. Okay. Two more, just the lunge. 
And then let's go ahead and add the row. Here we go. Take it down, row it up, push up out of it. Take it down, row it up, and push. Ooh, balance. So use those abs again. That's on purpose, putting these moves together, forcing our core to stabilize even more. Low, pull, push up, down, pull. Keep breathing. There we go. We got just about 10 seconds. I know you're tired, but keep that nice, good form. I think we got time for one more. You can do it. And tap it out. Catch your breath. I know that was a long set. We're getting a little quick break here. And then we're gonna go into a squat. So in this next move, we're gonna start with our regular squat. Then we're gonna add a hammer curl at the bottom. So it'll look like this. You just keep tapping out, squatting down, and then halfway through, we're gonna squat, curl at the bottom, powered up through the heels. So again, you're holding low in that squat, curling up, then powering up. Here we go, regular squat. Down, press up through the heels. So remember with the squat, get those hips to the back, Drop it low. What we're not doing is rounding in our back. Keep it here as low as you can go. Squeeze in those glutes at the top. Push into the heels. So you hear me say that a lot. Push into those heels. What that does is that really fires the glutes and the hamstrings. So it's not all in the front of our legs and our quads, and it's not all in our knees. That's why the lower we can get, the more butt we're gonna work. So almost time. Add that curl. Nice thing about this move, we don't have two sides. One more. Let's add the curl at the bottom. Here we go. So down, curl, push up through the heels. Take it down, curl at the bottom, push it up. So you'll notice it's harder to push through those legs with those weights at your shoulders. That's what we want. Ah, down, curl, and up. Don't do what I did. Sit low, curl to your shoulders, Push up through the heels. There you go. Sit low. Curl. Push. Excellent. Breathe. Curl. And up. We've got 10 seconds, so just a few more. Breathe. And up. Awesome, guys. And relax. Breathe. Tap it out. We're going to drop one of them, so bend your knees to drop it. Grab a quick little sip of water if you need to. Our next move, we're gonna start turning into a lunge, so just tap it out, keep your heart rate up. We're starting turning into a lunge, and then we're gonna add a wood chop. So one dumbbell is all you need. We're gonna turn, pivot into a lunge. So we're starting with that. Then we're gonna add a wood chop. So you know this wood chop here to here. You can keep it close to your body, or if you want further out, so it'll be lunge, wood chop, bring it up. So, if you have a heavier dumbbell, you might wanna start with it closer to your body, so your wood chop will look like this. If you have a lighter one, feel free to try it all the way out. Just be careful on your back, really stabilizing your abs. Okay, starting at your chest, starting with the lunge. Here we go, turning in. Down, and bring it up. So on this first half, really focus on getting low, into your lunge. So I know lunge is hard for balance for a lot of us. So if you need to, grab onto the wall or the back of a couch or a chair, that's gonna help you stabilize. Or you can always just make it a stationary lunge. If you need to, that's fine too. Pivot on those toes, turn, press up out of that heel with that front leg. And breathe. We're almost to our halfway point, then we're gonna add that wood chop. So wood chop is a lot of abs and a lot of arms. Here we go, breathe. And let's add that chop. So down, chop it up. Get low, chop it up. It is gonna throw your balance, so really stabilize. Keep it close if you need to. Close to your body, just think hip to shoulder or extend it out. Power it up. You should feel off balance on this, so don't feel like you're uncoordinated. We're putting you off balance on purpose to really make that core work hard. 
If it feels like too much, just take it just the lunge or just the chop. Either one is fine. And breathe. And if it feels weird in your knees, then keep that lunge stable. Five seconds. Tap it for one more. Breathe. And tap it out. Good job, guys. So catch your breath. Other side. Here we go. Start with just your lunge. Press it up. Lunge. And here. And by press, I mean push into that heel. And what I mean by keeping it stationary, if it feels weird on your knees, is just to stay facing forward here to here. That's totally fine. But if you can get that little extra pivot, that is going to engage our abs a little bit more. Breathe and push. Turning into it, almost to our halfway point. We're gonna add that wood chop. Here we go. Take it down, chop it up. Take it down, chop it up. If you need to keep it close, hip to shoulder. Hip to shoulders. I know I'm feeling off balance too. I get it, guys. Woo! Breathe down and chop. Breathe. Excellent work. You got this, team. Compound movements really get the heart rate up. You know me. I don't think there's any reason you can't get your cardio and your strength training in together. Here we go, five seconds. Power, last one, and breathe. Good, catch your breath, guys. So, tap it out. Bring that dumbbell in your right hand or left hand if you're mirroring me. And we're gonna start with a plie, so here's our few keep tapping it out. Get a little break. We're gonna do a plie swing. So we're dropping it down in a plie, but we're swinging it up and we're gonna add triceps second halfway through. So our first one is just your plie, bring it up. Plie, bring it up. If you feel like you're arching your back, keep it in close. We'll add the tries halfway through. Here we go, right hand down and up. So what I mean by swing is you're powering up through those hips. Not quite a kettlebell swing, but it's not a raise. That would be hard to do, right? Power, power. And again, watch that back feels like too much, you can just keep it close to your body or just to the plie. Breathe into it. Power it up. So our arms are working, but we're getting the power from the legs to really drive it up. Almost time to add those triceps. And breathe. And breathe. And here we go. We're gonna add triceps at the top. So watch me, power, swing, triceps. So I'm stabilizing with my other arm. Up, keep it close to your head, triceps behind the head. Looks like this, down, up, tries. There we go, down, up, and breathe. Power from the legs, keep everything stable in your core. Strong arms at the top. And breathe. Just about 10 seconds on this side. You can do it. Up. One more. How about we hold it here, right? We're gonna go five, four, I know, three, two, and one. Snuck that one in there, right? Tap it out. Shake that arm out. You can do the same thing other side. So now you know I'm gonna sneak in a little extra five for those tries right at the end. Starting with our plie swing and then taking it to the tries at the top in three, two, left hand. Here we go, drop it low, power it up. And you can even practice like I just did, stabilizing it out. So again, we don't want it to go too far to the back. Bring it up, down, and up. Squeeze at the top. Lots of glutes, lots of inner thighs. If you feel that back, keep it close. Almost sneaking in a little bicep curl. And breathe. Almost time to add the tries. Get low, get high. Good, abs pulled in. Don't forget about them. One more. 
And then let's add our tries. Here we go. Drop it down. Bring it up. Triceps. Here we go. Down. Up. Tries. And breathe. Down. Up. Woo yeah. Breathe. Down. Up. Lots of power. Squeeze. And nice and strong in your abs, in your core. And breathe. Up. Ten seconds. You'll have those five extra tries at the top. Your brain can get ready for it. We got one more all together. And here we go for five. Five. Four abs in. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Shake those out. Tap it out. Grab a quick sip of water. And we're going to come down to your mat with the dumbbells. Okay, so we're down on the mat with our dumbbells. We're going to start. Just go ahead and grab your dumbbells. And we're going to start with a close grip press, and then we're going to add a bridge. So you're here. Elbows are in tight. Dumbbells are to the side. We're just going to start up and down. So we're just here to here. So keeping the elbows in close. We are getting a lot of chest and shoulders, but we're also engaging the triceps, back of the arms. So I really like this press for that reason. And here. And then let's add a little bridge to it. So we're going to go up and down. As always, if you want to just do the press or just do the bridge, that's okay too. Just press up and down, lift. My hair is getting in my way. Elbows up. Mine are burning. My triceps are burning after doing those overheads right into this. Really squeeze in the glutes. One more. We're going to hold it at the top, rotate those dumbbells down, and we're just going to go out and in with the knees. So keeping the hips up, we're just getting lots of glutes and hamstrings you can feel, but a little outer thighs and inner thighs, keeping them up the whole time. Breathe. Oh yeah. Squeeze. There we go. 10 seconds. Keep them up high. You can do it. In three and two. And one, excellent. Drop those dumbbells down to the side. Bring those hands behind the head. Regular crunch. So lifting the shoulders, pulling the belly button in. So really focus on pressing that lower back into the ground. And breathe. Lift. And then let's add the reverse crunch too. So little lift of the hips off the ground, little lift of the shoulders. So keeping my eyes and my chin up. Breathe everything in, everything out. Keep lifting. Excellent. Now breathe. And then watch me. I'm going to take my knees and my elbows out. Knees and elbows in. Outer thighs, inner thigh squeeze. Lots of abs. Feet are touching. Try not to arch the back. Right here, keep that back flat. Squeeze. Out and in. Breathe. Here we go. For three. Squeeze. Two. And one. Excellent work, guys. Grab those dumbbells. Bring them up to the top. Bring the feet up to the top. So watch me. I'm going to go out with a fly so my arms go out wide. If that's a little too heavy for you, bend the elbows just a bit. So starting with this, out. And in, and out, and in. So keep breathing, start with this, and then when you're ready, we're gonna add a little scissors. So one leg is going down, out, and in, and legs go down and up. If that feels like too much, just do the fly or just do the scissors. Breathe. Lots of stabilization in the center. You should feel that. Pull that belly button in. Here we go for four. And breathe. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Relax. Drop those dumbbells down. 
Go ahead and turn over on your mat. We're so close to being done with your dumbbells. So have them right at your hands. You're gonna come on your knees. So I'm gonna have my left hand on the dumbbell and my right, right leg out. So left hand is gonna do a row as my right leg does a little lift. So what we're doing, we're getting all down the back, working nice and tight. A little bit of balance too for abs. Here we go, lift and lower. If you feel too unsteady, you can take that opposite hand off the dumbbell and put it flat on the mat. Here we go, abs pulled in, squeeze in the back, squeeze in the shoulder blades, squeeze in the glutes. You'll get all down through the back working. There we go, keep breathing. So close. And squeeze. And we'll go four and three and two and one. Little stretch back and then let's switch our side. So right hand has the dumbbell, left hand can be flat on the mat, left leg out, here we go. Everything up, everything down. Breathe. Squeeze in the back muscles, squeeze in the shoulder blades, We're working all down through the back of the body. Making sure you're breathing. Pull that belly button up to your spine. Squeeze. Last four right here. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, stretch it back. Take those dumbbells out of the way. We're gonna come into a plank. Very last thing, guys, all the way up on the hands. Starting here, just holding. Then if you can, take the knees across, back to center. Across, back to center. You can start with that. If you want even more of a challenge, Take that foot through and back. Ooh, I don't have a lot of space here. And even more of a challenge, you can open it up. So open up, back to center. Ooh, I don't have space. I'm gonna keep with that first one. This one's easier for me. I'm still recovering. After having my baby a few months ago, I can still feel my C-section pain a little bit. So work to your level, as always. One more each way. And breathe. Stretch it back. Good work. You did it. Woo! Reach those fingertips forward. Let your head and neck relax. Sit back in a child's pose. And then let's come all the way down flat on your mat. Stretch up on the elbows. And if it feels okay, Come all the way up on your hands in that full cobra up dog. Relax your shoulders. Again, we worked everything in the body and lots of things working together. It's not easy, but you did it. One foot in, grab if you can, tilt your hip into the mat. As always, get more of a stretch and a cool down on your own. None of us do enough stretching. So whenever you can get it in, get it in other side. Good work. And then take it up, come into a seated position. Let those knees drop to the side. Right arm across, drop the shoulder, roll through that wrist. You did it, guys. And bring it up. And take it across. And roll through. And bring it up. And take those feet out in front. Big reach. Hold it over, lean into that, a few deep breaths, stretching through your back, stretching through your hamstrings. Every time you exhale, just sink a little deeper. Bring it in, one big deep breath in. Out, 
and that was your dumbbell full body blast. Great job, everybody.